bonding is the fourth chapter in IB chemistry. Here we'll be discussing about the different types of bonds that are present in the molecules or in the compounds, uh, mainly ionic bonding, covalent bonding, and metallic bonding. Okay, for these three, uh, we're going to be talking about the definition. Okay, and the type of um, elements that will give rise to this type of bonding, for example, metal and non-metal will give you ionic bonding, or within non-metal and non-metal you get covalent bonding and so on. Okay, and okay, you need to be discussing what are the strength of each bond depends on. For example, ionic bonding, uh, it depends on the size of ion and uh, charge of the ion and stuff like that. Uh, you need to be explaining about the structure. Okay. And sometimes you have uh, oh, electrical conductivity in each uh, in each uh, bonding. And you will have to be able to compare and contrast the differences and the characteristics of the of each type of bonding. We have a table in the notes that you can use to, to give to the students to memorize. Okay? And out of these three, we will spend most time on covalent bonding. We know that there is two types. Okay, macromolecular and simple molecular. Okay, and for macromolecular, we'll be discussing about diamond, graphite, and C60 fullerene. Okay, so you're going to teach your student the differences between the three types. Uh, although they are all macromolecular, or no, they all have like uh, covalent bonding within the mo within the molecule. You are going to be explaining the differences in the structure between them. For example, like uh, diamond is a 3D lattice, uh, graphite is layered structure, and 660 fullerene has like um, um 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 is molecular, and also stuff like their hybridization. Yeah, so that will be here. And again, we have another table in the notes for you to teach this. Okay. And in simple molecular, you're going to be explaining about IMF or intermolecular forces. Okay? But before you can explain about this one, in covalent bonding, you need to um, teach about the polar, non polar bond. And polar and non-polar molecules. Okay? Because whether it's polar or non-polar will affect the intermolecular forces that are inside the molecules. Um, then also you need to be talking about the shapes of molecules. So in here we are going to be discussing about the VSEPR theory. Um, so for the SL, it will be from one negative centers to four negative centers. Okay? And one to six for HL. Okay? Mm. So the intermolecular forces, uh, there are three. Van der Waals. Uh, permanent dipole, permanent dipole interaction, and you have hydrogen bonding. Okay. Um, you also need to mention a little bit of, of um, um, a mixture of bonding, like for example, ionic bonding with covalent character. and covalent bonding with ionic character. Okay, for the second type, 
Um, uh, you need to know the factors that will affect the degree of ionic character in each bond. Okay. Um, for example, the three will be the. Uh, for for an increase in ionic character, okay, you need to have a small cation, large anion, and you need to have um, high charge for both. And I am. <coughs> okay? And for HL, uh, you need to discuss about hybridization and delocalization of electrons. So here you have to discuss the um, definition. Okay? And about pi bond. Bond. Mm. You need to explain about hybridization and then how you can determine whether you have sp, sp2, or an sp3 hybridization. Okay, and the localization of the electrons will require you to explain about resonance structure. Example benzene, carbonate ion, and so on. Okay, oh, I forgot to mention for covalent bonding, also you need to be teaching your students how to come up with new structure of simple molecules. 